Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd and Korea. We are looking at Budget Manor Rocks. Uh, this was brought up on a, on a Facebook group talking about all of the recent bands. And uh, yeah, they said, hey, well, you really should be doing a video on Manor Rocks because I was posting a video on Dual Lands. And they're, yeah, they're, they're right. I, it doesn't make sense to do Dual Lands when it's Manor Rocks that people are upset about getting banned. So yeah, um, this is an update because Frankly, my previous list, the prices are way, even though it's only about two or three months ago, the prices are totally different now. So yeah, kind of had to do a new one. So what do I mean when I say budget? I mean I had $1 or less. For this one, I kept it under $1, and I think it's a lot of value for $1. I'm using the TCG player market value as usual, not a sponsor as usual, not one bit. Okay, so in general, pre-con upgrades. Mana rocks are an important part of every deck. Uh, even with a large amount of RAM, mana rocks matter. So really, they go in every deck. I think you would be kind of like missing a key piece of a deck if you just completely omitted mana rocks. That would be a weird choice. Possible, but odd. Um, especially in decks where you don't have easy access to ramp. So usually if you don't have green, these are much more important. Um, so yeah, these are uh, cheap options that you can hopefully use to kind of fill some gaps anyway. Number five, Collector's Vault. So this one, I know starting off the list with like something that isn't really a mana rock seems like a bad idea, but trust me on this one. It is two mana for this artifact and you pay two mana. You draw a card, then discard a card, create a treasure token. So you're creating that treasure token. That's kind of your mana rock thing. I guess it, it, you have to pay two to get that one. So calling it a mana rock maybe still doesn't make sense, but the uh, draw a card, discard, and creating a token, that can be useful in a whole, excuse me, a whole lot of decks can like get a lot of value out of that. If you've got a lot of madness in your deck, if you've got some kind of like synergy from cr uh, creating tokens, this can be very worthwhile. So yeah, it's a, it's an odd one, but I think it can be very, very good. Anyway, uh, 19 cents. Number four. Okay, we're getting, the rest are like real banner rocks, okay? Anyway, Tome of the Guild Pact. Okay, five for an artifact. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, draw a card. Tap to add one mana of any color. Okay, so the downside here is obvious, right? Five mana is a lot for a mana rock. It is a mana rock that at least makes any color of mana. The real uh, incentive here is the card draw, right? Most decks, unless you've got like a monocolored deck, then don't do this, obviously. But a lot of decks are going to have a fair number of like dual or even tricolor cards in them um especially your like commander decks will probably be able to like even if you trigger this two or three times i think it's worth the extra mana like if you think about this compared to like arcane signet it's three more colorless mana if you get three card draws off of that worth it right one colorless mana per card draw is definitely worth it and there are plenty of decks that will just be able to like keep setting this off non-stop. Uh, my last budget deck was actually a multicolored one that would set this off just like, I don't even know how many, um, yeah. It, I wanna point out, it is cast a multicolored spell, so you can't like make multicolored tokens and draw a card, no. It is actually casting the spell. Anyway, 50 cents. Number three. 500 year diary. Um, if you saw this episode of Doctor Who, I like this one. Uh, three in a blue for a legendary artifact clue. Um, so it's a clue and it's, it's not a token, so that seems a little weird, but anyway. So when it enters the battlefield tapped, tap to add blue for each clue you control. Clues are very, very easy to make. If you have a deck that can make even a reasonable amount of clues, I would put this in. It gives you incentive to like keep making them because I think with clues, one of the problems is that once you have so many, it's uh, like, you know, you got to pay two mana to sack it to draw a card. Um, at some point, it's like, is this really worthwhile? Um, 
this is like creating value even if you just keep making this huge stack of clues you probably wouldn't be able to keep like paying two mana into it here it's like okay well this is worth doing anyway it's making colored mana as well it's making blue mana uh, so this can be a scary thing to hold up as well uh, any blue deck that makes clues your counter spells your like pretty much all your instants you can just like include a bunch of flash and clue deck uh, i should do that a flash and clue deck and yeah this just becomes insane um also you can pay two to sacrifice it to draw a card because you know it's a clue um yeah it's nice to have that option i think if all your other you know, if all the token clues get taken out then this doesn't really do anything so maybe you just want to draw a card instead um so that could be worthwhile anyway 52 cents Number two, okay, Replicating Ring. I actually saw this posted on uh, the budget site on Facebook. I used this in, I believe the, um, wh what budget deck was it? I think, uh, uh, what's her name, Starfall, Roxanne Starfall Savant, right. I think I used this. Uh, I probably, if I didn't use it in uh, Azuri, I should have, but anyway. For three, it's a snow artifact. Tap to add one mana of any color. So great start. Um, at the beginning of your upkeep, put a knight counter on replicating ring. Again, this is a counter. Proliferate, right? You can proliferate this. Then if there are eight or more knight counters are on it, remove them and uh, create eight colors snow artifact tokens named replicating ring with add one mana of any color. So if you've got a lot of proliferate, you're going to be making like eight extra token mana rocks and you could potentially do this just over and over and over right it's not like it does it once and just stops at the beginning of the next upkeep it'll put another counter on and then you can proliferate those counters then at the beginning of the next upkeep hopefully you've got eight and then it makes eight and then yeah you just keep going over and over you can potentially just get like this is a ramp like Proliferate is really good at ramping, actually, and this is one of the ways how. Anyway, 44 cents. Again, if you're not proliferating, this might not be the thing. But the next one is... Number one. Okay, Skyclave Relic. Um, this is not as situational as the previous two. The previous two in the right situation will be better, but this is like, kind of throw it in any deck. Okay, so three for an artifact it is tapped to add one mana of any color so that's good um it also has kicker three so if you cast it for six if it's later in the game you can cast it for six instead of three when it enters the battlefield if it was kicked create two tokens that are copies of sky, sky cave relic so you're getting three mana rocks for on one card um also indestructible so all of these mana rocks you're making are going to be indestructible especially amazing if you can like return this to your hand somehow and cast first kicker again you can just like do that huge amount of like just over and over and over um getting just a pile of like indestructible mana rocks that make mana of any color um but you don't have to right even if you just have this in your regular deck actually i gotta start putting this in deck more decks i've got a I've got to order a bunch of these because I should really put them in. This is amazing because it is something where it's like early game, you cast it for three, later game you cast it for six, and you get three mana rocks out of it. Three mana rocks that make any color for six, that's insane. Even on the second turn, those three, they made three the first turn, three the next turn, that's six already. You're kind of getting your investment back in like just by the next turn. Um, insane. 90 cents. The list. Okay, Collector's Vault is 19 cents. I know it's not really a mana rock. In in very in, in some situations, it'll be perform better. You know, if you want to discard, if you want to create treasure tokens and get extra value, it will be better. Tome of the Guild Pack, 50 cents. Multicolored decks, get that. Um, 500 Year Diary, 52 cents. Absolutely crazy if you make a lot of clues. Just insane. Replicating Ring, 44 cents. Proliferate, oh my gosh. 
and Skyclave Relic, 90 cents. This is the one I feel like everything on this list is very like situational and amazing in the right situation and then kind of just there the rest of the time. Skyclave Relic is the one where you can just throw it in any deck and it's going to be good. All right. Anyway, take it easy.